um, we'll do the uh, talk about Project Red Robin. Um, this is a company that's in the food and beverage business, production sales. So uh, we've been working with them. This is an outside of the box project that we've been working on. So um, working very closely with the city of Alasta, the downtown development authority, us, um, SBDC has been involved with this project. Um, local individuals have been involved. Just moving right along, and I think we are getting ready to get some of our numbers together so we can put a more formal plan in action with it. And once we do that, we'll be able to come talk to y'all about it in more depth. Um, project AIR, um, this is the project that we had back in January. It's still continuing to move forward. Um, because this company is um, based out of China, we just now got over the Chinese New Year. So we're just not going to be able to start working with them again. But I think there's some good relationships that we have made between some existing industries here um, and potential for them to grow their business and kind of get started off working with them about Asta. Um, project Belt is a, um, a new project. So this is the one that Tom was highlighting on. This is a forest product manufacturing. I mean, they actually cost what two weeks ago, and since then they've been in our community about three or four times looking at um, buildings, land, so it's been very good. But we are um, in competition with Alabama and Florida, and so we continue to be aggressive and to work with them, and now we're just waiting on them to get back with us and for additional information. Would you have anything else? I uh, will say he emailed me at like 5.15 on the big map of the county, so I got I don't know who can do that in that for him, so uh, they're still poking around. They're still doing um, And that one should hopefully move pretty fast. Um, Talking Bird is actually a uh, request for information that we filled out this past time for the Georgia Department of Economic Development. It was an aerospace industry, so we continue to just follow up with that and track its progress. Um, Project Hood, um, I'll let you go on that one. Okay. I think that's yeah, well, we began working with a, they're a regional company, and we, they, they, um, they manufacture wood mulch and pine salt, and they're in the process of purchasing a location here in Lowndes County, and we're working with them on trying to secure a USDA or maybe SBA loan, so we're still trying to, kind of in the process with that, and I know Andrew, I was out of town last week, but Andrew, I think that yeah. the gentleman and things are moving forward with that. And so. Yeah, so um, we're waiting on some final numbers from him, and then uh, we can get ramped up again on what we can do for that one. But um, currently, right now, he has about 15 to 20 employees, but once he moves, which already some of his operation here, um, it would go up to um, 60 to up to 100 possible employees here. So that's a good project, and we're excited to be working with him. And then I'll let Okay. All right, existing industry report. Um, industry visits last month. I went down and visited uh, in Lake Park, and I brought along uh, Bill Tillman uh, from Watergrass with me. Um, just kind of partnered up with him so we can save some of the, the managers and owners' time instead of all hitting them at different times. So I went down to Gray Flex, met with them, met with the manager there. Um, just a good site visit there. They're doing well, sales, no plans for expansion, but uh, he did express some uh, concerns with employee turnover, but he's like, that's because we don't pay them as much as the other guys, and it gets hot here in the summertime, and they just, they realize we don't have air conditioning. So, so but we'll continue to work with them. Very nice folks, and they got a very cool industry. Um, uh, Smith Drug Company. I uh, went and met with Mr. Bruce Allred and John McAllister there. Uh, just toured the plant, talked with them about possible expansion of commercial operations and maybe down the road. He called me last week when I was in Atlanta and wanted to meet this week. I followed up with him. I guess they're really busy. He hadn't called me back so when I got back. I uh, but they're doing well toward the plant. That's a fascinating facility if you ever get a chance to go in there. Uh, they do some pretty cool things. Uh, met with electrical test labs, and that's how the uh, made Barasta particle came about, which we went down and saw them again today. Uh, great couple, it's a husband and wife team that owns it. Um, very interesting business, something that's very, what I would call a niche market, so just look for the article and you'll be surprised, so very interesting folks. Uh, met with Sunset Farms, Tom Carroll there, um, just a site visit there. They, 
they're doing good things and, and moving forward, forward there. Didn't get to tour the, the facility. Um, don't know if I really wanted to, but <laughs> they make sausage. But. And then Max USA, uh, visited them, met the new, they have a new plant manager in town. He came from a, a place over in Alabama. They manufacture bathtubs, um, uh, bathtubs and showers. I uh, got to see how those are made, fiberglass, very interesting. They are, it's a huge facility if you've never been in there and they have just slammed full of bathtubs and they have a very unique operation, so it was very good to see. And uh, they, had, they had talked about maybe adding another shift for, they're not really expanding, but they're only on one shift right now and they're thinking about adding another shift. So it would be additional employees, so that would be a good thing. Uh, Fossils Hire Service, that project uh, is finally completed. Uh, we had the ribbon cutting there on February 20th, so thanks for all who came out on that. Uh, and they had their grand opening on March the 3rd, so that went over very well. Uh, we are only have to um, finalize our part of the sewer extension and the road extension that, that we promised in the um, development agreement. Uh, we got all the receipts and everything from the contractors, so we're just waiting to pay them. Bimbo Bakeries, that project is complete. I worked, you know, spoke with the regional manager regarding the press release. He said he had to get with corporate to do that. I don't know why it's taken him so long or for them to agree on that, but I may have to see if I can go above him to, to, to get that done. So um, hopefully we'll get that done as soon as possible. Project Weld, uh, some new existing industries seeking to expand their operations. Uh, Preliminary engineering work is complete. Um, there's some infrastructure needs that we're gonna that we're in the process of helping helping them with, um, and we're working with some engineers to kind of get a proposal put together, so we get that survey done. Hopefully, try and seek some state funding in order to help uh, help them with that aspect of their project. Uh, it's the water and sewer line, so that'll be a big investment, nine million dollars, and hopefully, up to 50 new jobs there. And Project Cold is a local food production processing company. Um, they're in, um, looking to expand in the very near future. Um, that'll be a five and a half million dollar investment, maybe 20 jobs. We've sent them over the economic development agreement and addition of lease. Uh, they're over looking at it, looking at letting their attorneys look it over. We may have some changes there, but we'll be in, we're in touch with them. Project Greensleeve, that's a food logistics and distribution company. Continue to work with them. Uh, they're looking for a spot, potentially in the Miller Business Park, to be a 50,000 square foot facility. Um, still need to meet with them, and we have the economic development agreement ready. We just need to propose it to them. Uh, person who is looking at doing it has had some other entrepreneurial things going on, so they've been really busy lately. So. Hopefully we can meet with them soon and, and move that forward. And then Project SHIP, uh, it's, an, it's an existing industry. We discussed possible expansion, maybe early parts of next year, but um, they have some land over one of the business parks and they're um, wanting us to look into um, additional square footage. And they may, there may be some issues with where they want to add on to, so we're helping them through that. And hopefully that'll work out, so we're, we're working with them. Um, community business and industry partnership. We already kind of touched on the logistics summit. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, going with three of our existing industries. They're all excited. They call me about once a week saying they got brochures and coming up with different ideas. And um, But it's going to be fun. We got reservations at a nice restaurant, so I'm going to take them out to dinner that night. And hopefully, get to know them well, build your relationship, which is what it's all about. So. And that is it for me. Any questions for Dan? Oh. I'm Andrew. Um, I will just kind of update you on my South Georgia. As you know, we have